Hello everybody, my name is Eric. Have you ever had the suspicion that your gaming mouse might be more of a rat? <laughs> I, I had to do that joke. I, I thought about this for like a day. But uh, anyways, so what seems to have happened here uh, is Endgame Gear's mouse configuration tool was compromised. Now, initially, I was extremely concerned that this was a full-blown supply chain attack where the company had been deeply compromised and was distributing malware, but it seems like there may be another explanation given the nature of the X-Red malware. So what happened is, if you ex this guy executed it and noticed that the malware was in it, and he uploaded it to a sandbox, that's good, that's good advice, that's what you probably should do if you've noticed something sketchy, uh, didn't come from a sketchy site or third-party mirror, it came from the official vendor page. So this is some sort of supply chain issue. Whether this was a supply chain compromise, a mirror CDN attack, or something else infected his PC. Well, the answer appears to be it's closest to a supply chain attack. So this is where the malware installs itself. Xred impersonates trackpad drivers for a company called Snaptix, which makes on laptops most trackpads, so a lot of people would have the real Snaptix, but probably not a lot of people buying gaming mice. So if you see this in that folder, you are infected. And you will also see that it's set to run on startup. Now, what I believe happened is related to this. This is a file infector. All of your EXEs, when you run one of these, a bit like the ground.exe that I showed a few months ago, will get infected. That's why this type of malware is called a virus. And what I believe happened here is someone working at Endgame Gear probably installed this malware, and while trying to ship the update, didn't realize. Because the way that a file infector works, and we're going to go to the sandbox and I'm going to show you uh, in just a minute, is it will replace the file with a stub that'll be in a hidden folder and it'll be something like dot underscore file name dot exe. Then it will replace the file name dot exe with a runner for the malware, that's the first thing it does, and also a loader for the real file. So as a result, if you're a developer and you ship an exe while having this malware installed, uh, you have now shipped malware. Now, he also posted a defanged link to what appears to be the compromised version. And while they did remove, at least last time, I tried this last night, I'll try it again. While they did remove the actual malware link by just null biting it, they actually haven't removed the zip. And it feels, I don't know if a cover-up is the appropriate term, but it's disappointing. This happened days ago. I was contacted on X by someone who was concerned about this, thought I should take a look at it. And the company hasn't said a word. So yes. So now this link ships a zero byte exe. So they nulled the exe, but they didn't do any, they haven't told anyone, and they didn't even delete it, which makes it even more suspicious. Now they have fixed it, and if you're downloading it now, it's clean. So the risk would have been if you downloaded the driver software for this mouse between the 2nd of July and the 17th. The earlier version was infected, it came from their official CDN, not a third-party mirror. And in response, some Redditors, who may have thought this was less of a serious issue, yeah, it's a serious legal issue, because they are, under European law, uh, obligated to disclose this kind of a problem. Uh, they shouldn't brush this under the rug. No, absolutely not. And the other thing, and some people are using this as a reason to downplay this, is... I often talk about fully undetected malware. This is not. This is fully detected malware. The worst antivirus you could find would detect this. I'm assuming the OP of this either disabled their antivirus for some reason, or maybe listened uh, to some Muppet telling them that turning off Windows Defender is a good way to improve uh, gaming performance. I don't know what happened here, uh, but, and that's, uh, end users might do that. But the idea that someone working at a professional company would do something like that. Uh, it's ridiculous. Not only do they not have any sort of enterprise security system, they also evidently, if their employees are turning off Windows Defender while logging into their infrastructure, that is insane. As we can see, uh, there is okay, there is a virus total link. Oh, I think, he, I think a lot of people actually uh, bypassed it as well. So here's the triage run, so we can get an idea. And we can see Xred, which is a file infector 
and back door. Now, the good news here is the C2 for XRED is dead. We can actually test that out. Uh, if we go to any of these, uh, that none of them work. None of these URLs work anymore. So as a result, it can't ship updates to the Infactor, and the C2 doesn't work. Because originally, XRED would have functioned like a rat, but it doesn't do that anymore. But it is a file Infactor, which means that anyone who got this could spread XRED to other people. And there is always the risk with a file Infactor, even if uh, the C2 doesn't work. Well, one risk would be that someone could buy the domain if it's available. Another is that it can just mess up system stability and cause you all sorts of problems because you've now got malware that's placing EXEs. Uh, sometimes that's not entirely reliable. So as we can see, the real program works as normal, which might give you a false sense of security. Uh, but in the background, uh, a different file is being created. So now we're going to go on over to any run where I've just created a run that I think is a, gives you a bit more detail. And here we can see the actual... Uh, malware. So we're going to wait. Uh, this is the file. This I is actually just the sample that I downloaded from triage. So I'm going to I drag that to the desktop and then I run it. You can see, all right, everything here works. But now take a look at what's happened here. So this is the malware. Then it copies the real file here. And then the Snaptix exe is dropped into program data. Take another look at that. We can see that. This is where it goes. And if we kept running this, we would notice more of our files uh, would get infected. And this is how it hides the real file. And then this is this is the actual uh, sample. This is what was being di distributed. So now let me show you so that there can be no doubt. We can go on over to virus total. And we can see this is fully detected malware. See if anyone is missing this. Baidu, Super Anti Spyware, which is like a meme. Uh, Tethris, uh, CMC. So basically everything, these ones just didn't run. Uh, so every serious antivirus, Malwarebytes, Microsoft Defender, McAfee, Panda, SecureAge, Trend Micro, uh, all of them. Uh, CrowdStrike, all of them would catch this. This has been circulating since about the 5th of July. So we're about a month. Now, if we go back to the Reddit thread, it does seem like the company is definitely aware of this, as it was mentioned in Discord, and then they apparently fixed it without telling anyone. Now, this is true. A lot of people wouldn't have fallen for it because it should be detected. Unfortunate thing is some people in the pursuit of performance turn off antivirus, some people, especially given this was a Trojan, meaning that it had a working app included, right? If you go here, you can see the app did work, may have uh, decided, well, I downloaded it from the right place, it is real, and then when they ran it, they would have seen, okay, it worked, clearly that was a false positive. So I, I don't, I think some people may have fallen for it. But the more concerning thing to me is just the total lack of security practices at this company. Someone working here or somehow with access to upload the update, downloaded something infected with XRED, ran it, didn't realize they'd been hacked, so either they exempted it from their antivirus, or maybe they just turn off antivirus. No, this is ridiculous. I sent uh, the parent company of Endgame Gear, which is Gamesware, which appears to be based in Germany, uh, an email asking for a comment. And I have not received any response. I sent that yesterday. It's been about a business day in Europe, so I, I don't think they're going to respond to me either. Actually, hold the phone. While they didn't respond to me, they did finally update. This came three hours ago. I just hadn't seen anything about it. They hadn't published a lot about this. So here it is. Dear Endgame Gear customers, we are issuing this statement to inform you of an isolated security incident involving a malware-infected version of our configuration tool for the I'm not going to read all those numbers out. This compromised file was distributed unnoticed via this page. Yes. Okay. Isolated to this page. All other official sources were not affected. Okay. But that's not... Uh, okay. Yeah, this is actually kind of an important one. Why do you have five different places to download officially your software that are going to different places? That should never happen. Uh, shell hashes. 
oh, come on. Like, okay, nobody does that. That I, To me, that seems like, okay, uh, adding digital signatures. Yeah, that's like the most basic thing. I'm kind of, this response is just kind of baffling. Yeah, run an antivirus scan given this is highly detected. Uh, trying to manually delete a file infector is... Like, there's some malware, like Impulse Dealer is probably easier to manually remove. File infectors, you really need to use an antivirus because half your files are going to be infected. You have further questions. Yeah, I got a lot of further questions. So how did this happen? And I, I think they may not realize because none of these would do anything to prevent this. Well, I guess you could... <laughs> Scanning files uploaded to your servers. Uh, if the file server wasn't compromised, an employee was compromised, and it seems they may not have even figured that out. Uh, while watching this and editing, I noticed that could be a bit confusing. So to clarify what I mean, I don't mean an employee's credentials were hacked. What I think may have happened is that this file infector malware got on a computer that someone who was trying to ship an update was using, and as a result, when they attempted to update it on the server, they shipped the malware unknowingly. I don't think this was an actor getting into an account and simply uploading malware on the CDN, because that wouldn't make sense, because the C2 for this malware has been dead for a long time. So there's no real abuse uh, that they would be doing. Yeah, don't don't have hordes of different so-called official downloads. Yes, integrity uh, verification, uh, but user verifying SHA hashes, okay, great in theory. You Users are not going to do that, especially not the type that disable their antivirus for a few frames per second in video games, and they shouldn't have to. Um, adding digital signatures, yeah, that's common sense, and it's actually appalling they didn't do that. So, yeah, big one is actually implementing some sort of cybersecurity uh, policies at whatever company, like whatever, the, however the employees are able to access the file server, computers that they're using should not be infected with malware, especially malware that is detected by every credible security vendor. That just should not be able to happen. And this is the latest post. They haven't used this uh, PL Reddit account for quite a while. Uh, but yeah, this is their official account. Uh, to me, that's a completely unsatisfactory response. They haven't really explained how something so serious as them shipping malware on their official site would happen. And apparently it was actually all the way back to June 26th. Um, they admit that the only way they found out was because someone told them. They kind of d downplay it. I, I don't know. You can let me know in the comments if you think I am crazy. But to me, this seems like a pretty awful response given the severity of shipping malware that luckily in this case wasn't like wasn't world ending malware but shipping malware not really explaining or even seeming to know how it got there uh, this is not great i would not personally well if you're going to buy something from this company i would not use any of their software or, and if you are going to, I guess, well, you should check the SHA hashes they provide you. Uh, I think you should definitely check it out on a sandbox first. That's going to be all for me for now. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm kind of shocked about this whole thing. Bye.